the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 167 2 Kings 9-10 to Jehu's first and second religious reformations Jehu, who was anointed by a prophet disciple sent by Elisha, soon destroyed Ahab's household and arranged a turning point in history. First point. Through the student of Elisha, Jehu becomes anointed as king over North Israel. The prophet student of Elisha anointed Jehu as the tenth king of North Israel. This was a fulfillment of God's word through Elisha that Jehu would become king. The reason Jehu became anointed as king through Elisha's students was God's punishment towards the house of Ahab, who worshipped Baal and Asherah. Jezebel used the tax money to worship Baal and Asherah and also used national power to capture and kill God's people. Jezebel's sins were so severe that Obadiah had to hide a hundred people of God from her, and she even sent assassins to kill Elijah after the incident at Mount Carmel. God punished Ahab and Jezebel through Jehu's coup d'etat. Second point. Jehu rose as the tenth king of North Israel. Through Jehu's coup d'etat, the Omni monarchy came to a cross. The reason the soldiers took off their robes and placed it beneath Jehu was a performance to show that they would be loyal to Jehu. They furthermore blew their trumpets to proclaim Jehu as their king. When Jehu became king, he officially carried out a coup d'etat against the Omni dynasty. Ahab's son, Joram, escaped by learning to South Judah. But Jehu tracked him down and killed him, as well as killing Ahaziah. Ahaziah was the son born between Ahab and Jezebel's daughter and Jehoram. So in fact, Joram was Ahaziah's uncle. As such, the Omni dynasty began from Omni to Ahab, Ahab to Ahaziah, and Ahaziah to Joram, and then ended due to Jehu's coup d'etat. Jehu's coup meant that North Israel's Joram and South Judah's Ahaziah were killed, as well as Jezebel being killed. Jezebel's death was predicted by Elijah, and it was fulfilled during the days of Jehu. Third point, the first round of Jehu's religious reformation was to get rid of remnants from Ahab's monarchy. At his first religious reformation, Jehu completely got rid of the remnants of Ahab's monarchy. He firstly killed all 70 of Ahab's sons. Jehu received the surrender from the leaders of Samaria and then commanded to kill Ahab's sons. Thus, they not only killed Ahab's sons, but all who were associated with Ahab. He secondly killed the 42 brothers of South Judah's Ahaziah. He suddenly received support from Jehonada from Rechab, who was a respected religious figure of the time. He forcibly broke down the remaining of Ahab's temples. Fourth point, Jehu's second religious reformation was to eradicate the temple of the Baals. At the first religious reformation, Jehu eradicated all of Ahab's monarchy. And then for the second religious reformation, he eradicated the Baal worshippers. In order to get rid of the Baal worshippers, he firstly made news that Baal worship would be strengthened. He secondly prepared for a major gathering of Baal worshippers and then planned to kill all those who came. He eventually killed all the Baal worshippers in North Israel.
Fifth point, unfortunately, they were also followed in the way of Jeroboam. Despite getting rid of Ahab dynasty's evil and the Baal worshippers, they still went in the way of Jeroboam by not getting rid of the golden covers at Dan and Bethel. However, as he managed to do some good, God blessed him by enabling four of his descendants to continue the monarchy. Next after Jehu was Jehoahaz, Jehoashi, Jeroboam II, and then Zechariah. As Jehu followed in the way of Jeroboam, North Israel suffered from external attack. Eventually, North Israel lost their land on the east of the Jordan River to the Aram soldiers. And then they were attacked by Sharman Ezra the Sad in Assyria. Zehu therefore had to pay tribute to Sharman Ezra the Sad on his knees. This episode is clearly demonstrated in the Black Obelisk on display at the British Museum. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.